I got a really crappy video to do right now, people. Um, Marty's dead, and uh, I'm real bummed out. Um, I was just coming in to feed him. I saw earlier today in his enclosure, okay, I um, came to do a feeding. I fed uh, Pinky, and I know I was looking for Marty. I, I was just looking all over in here. I, I mean, he normally comes down for food. I drained his thing. The only thing I could think of is he was able, he, he knocked this off. This was in the thing and he got out through the PVC. And um, like I looked everywhere and obviously he wasn't in there. So I went walking. I walked around the other side of the house and I saw him on, on the soil. Uh, I saw him on the soil and then I noticed he wasn't moving and there were ants all around his eyes. And I can tell you that this is, this is like, he's just recently died and I don't know why. I wanna see if he ate a cane toad. Um, that's the only thing I can think of is that Marty ate something um, that was toxic. The only other thing I can think of is, uh, you know, I, I, I don't even know. I, do, I just don't know. But I'm super sad because I love this lizard. He was a gift from one of my viewers and um, I'm just bummed. It's just been a crap day. <sighs> what the hell happened to Marty? All right, so it's been a couple of days since I had found Marty dead and we gotta move on. We just gotta keep moving here at the camp. And his enclosure actually could make a really good home for my carp pythons. So what I'm gonna start doing, guys, is we're gonna work on this. I burned some wood there. We're gonna remove some of this bamboo. We're gonna put the wood planks up because I think it'll make a more um, sturdy barrier against Pinky because we don't wanna have what happened with Slinky and the diamond pythons. And we're gonna make sure that we keep this whole thing uh, Lock tight. I'm gonna seal that up as well. We're gonna put a smaller, a smaller water dish in here, and we're gonna, you know, redesign it for some snakes. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna give my snakes a new home. Almost every snake is outside, save my Burmese python, but I'm gonna remedy that too real soon here as well. We're just gonna work, 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 and um, that's how we're gonna honor the legacy of Marty, the Merton's water monitor. Is we're gonna make sure that. Another species can have a really good home here. So, okay guys, I'm gonna get right to it. I'll talk to you in a little bit. You know what? Upon thir uh, further thought, uh, as I'm tearing this out, I'm thinking, why don't we make this a bigger enclosure for Pinky? Why don't we do that instead? We could give Pinky all this room. I could fill this up with mulch, put a few more branches, some more things for her to climb around on. I think that would be a better use of this. And then what I'm gonna do for the snakes is the enclosure over here. I will go ahead and get to work on that after I'm done with this. Uh, it's right over here. It's the one that the two rhino gunners used to be in. I wanna fix that up. And I could put the snakes out over here, which is what I originally planned on doing. So they get to be out here and I get a representation of snakes a little bit further out here. I think that would be really cool. So I can redo this whole enclosure uh, in another video. I know I keep putting this off, but I can get it done in another video. It just makes more sense to give Pinky a really a lot of space since she is a monitor and she needs it. And... Um, That'll make me happy, and I think it'll make her happy. So, looks like Pinky gets a makeover. Home makeover for good old Pinks. All right, that's what I'm gonna do. Okie dokie, everybody. Well, here's what I got done so far. Uh, we've taken the divider out. There's gonna be plenty more room for her to move around. I have to get some more mulch tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna bring the level of mulch all the way up to the edge of this um, tub. I'll drain the tub. I'm probably gonna take a piece of bamboo 
and kind of wrap it around this. Kind of give this more of a bamboo look. Uh, I think that'll look nice. Um, a few more branches kind of connecting the shelves. Maybe another plant. Uh, rearrange the hide box. Still a lot to do, but I'm going to call it quits for the evening. I got a late start today, so I'm going to go ahead and call it quits. And uh, man, this is going to be really cool though. Double entry. We'll pull these out. I'm going to put boards up. Should be dialed. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Oh, yeah. All right, well, we're now going to tackle day two. I think we're going to be able to get it done today. And uh, I'm going to get back to work. And uh, yeah, see you guys in a minute. Yes, all right, so it is done. And just in the nick of time, it's about to get dark. Uh, I wanted to show you guys everything I did. Look at this, it is just a really cool new habitat for our girl, Pinky. Uh, of course, we rearranged some of the branches here. Okay, so she's got a lot of exercise room and she's got a couple places that she can move throughout the day to bask. Sunlight does hit all these areas throughout the day. We've got the bamboo shade that's been up all the time. Of course, I removed the wire. Um, we've got the boards up on the doors and uh, halfway around the entire thing. So I just wanted to give her a little bit of security. And then when you're looking in from the front, you really get to see a nice backdrop uh, it blends in. I'm really stoked on this. I cut down a piece of bamboo and I hid that one support beam uh, by splitting the bamboo with my machete and then just using zip ties to kind of put it back together. Um, so there it is, uh, a nice big piece of bamboo hiding some of the aluminum tubing that's acting as a support beam here for the roof. Uh, what I'm really excited about is over here, um, and I'm not gonna be able to put her in tonight because I've got some foam drying that I'm gonna cut out tomorrow once it cures. Uh, there it is over there, but we took some of this uh, limestone our friends at Yardco Rock gave me last year and uh, we used it again this has been coming in very very handy um, I took a piece of corrugated tubing uh, drain pipe now we've got a big cave the cave winds and makes a right hand turn and look at this she gets to hang out in here there's a heat pad for the winter uh, it's kind of subterranean very simple but um, I like it. It's big enough for her to crawl in. Should be no problem. I'll trim this foam down tomorrow. And uh, well, actually, I don't really need to worry about that foam, but mostly the foam right here. Uh, but it's a cool little lid. I can lift it up and see her. I started to staple on some cork bark. Uh, I can kind of, as I get more cork bark, I'm gonna, and um, uh, what is it? I'm losing my mind. I've been out here all day. It's been insane. It's been a busy day. This one, uh, there was a couple of smashed fingers and foul words used, but, um, Again, I'm pretty psyched. So what I was trying to say is I'm gonna get more cork bark. I'm gonna get more moss from Fluker, Spanish moss. I'm gonna adhere it uh, to some of the gaps in this and we'll hide this completely. I like that it's kind of covered by the cypress mulch, a uh, little subterranean layer for her. Um, again, we love this. Uh, I really am enjoying 
using these uh, limestones. We got the tub, very simple. Um, water comes in from the top here. Okay, so water sprays in here, it goes on for about 45 minutes. Uh, it kind of cycles through, um, so that's pretty neat. And what else do I have? Oh, I don't know, I got drip systems. We gotta plug this in later on when it's time. I've got a few months before it gets cold again, probably November or December of next year, or this year rather. So we've got quite a few uh, months before it actually gets cold. Um, but guys, uh, really psych. let's go ahead and look at it from the front. I'll shut this. We've got all kinds of materials that need to be contended with, um, cleaning that up. The little uh, hybrid leopard, the leprechauns, are really an interesting tortoise. Um, they're very curious, much like all of our tortoises, and they just wander around. They've been hanging out with me all day. Um, some garbage to clean up. But here it is. Um, this is the enclosure. It was sad to see Marty um, pass away, uh, especially in such a strange fashion. But I'm glad that I'm now able to give uh, Pinky more room as she is a monitor. And you guys know I like to give them room. So um, from tragedy, we're going to help out good old Pinky. She's inside right now, but I think this will work out really good. So I'll tell you what, everybody, I'm going to go ahead and clean up all this mess. And tomorrow morning, first thing, we'll get the camera rolling and we'll get our lizard gal back in here, Pinky. All right. See you in a little bit. Good night. Well, you know what I mean. You guys aren't going to be going to sleep, but I am. So I'm saying good night, but not goodbye, because the video is not over. Do you know what I'm talking about? I think you're with it. Kill later. Okay, everybody. So here's Pinky, and she was really enjoying this piece of cork bark. So I guess I'll bring it in there for her. But this is it. We're going to put her on in her new and improved enclosure with so much more space oh she's grumpy because she's been locked up the last couple days but here we go babe this is it look what you got look at this look at this come on baby oh there you go look at that some familiar some new what do you think hon get on in there explore a little bit uh, this is really my favorite part about keeping the animals is giving them a really cool place to live, explore, to be enriched. And like I said, it was a bummer we lost Marty because he was a really, really cool animal. Uh, but at the same time, it just was an opportunity to really give Pinky uh, more space. So um, here she is. And now what I'll do is I'm gonna redo uh, Slinky's enclosure. And once my Cuban iguanas go into their new enclosure, Slinky is gonna have a massive, massive enclosure. Um, but this is what I love to do. I like giving the animals space. So you can see she's just checking things out and she's gonna get used to it here. So that's what's really important. Um, just really, really cool to see her figuring things out. It's almost like she knows, it's, it's like almost familiar, but she knows things have been changed. Some of the scents are similar and some are new. I've had her a couple of years now and she's just such a really unique, uh, creature. She's got that crooked smile, which is kind of cute. I like it. Let's go ahead. Oh, she's giving me whips now. See, we, I've upset her by moving her out of here. So it'll take a day or two for her to get back into um, the mode of trusting me again. But I think she's doing well. Oh, look, are you going to find that one little cave and go in it already? Like I said, we got the cave. I guess this cork bark will come in handy because I can kind of cover the box with it. But look at her. She's going to go right in her cave and explore on her own. Well, there you go. I love it. That's the first place she wants to go in. Isn't that funny? The first thing she wants to do is to find security um, because it's new. So it makes sense. She'll want to go into this cave check it out because that's going to be the place she's going to run to 
if she needs to get in and out of the, uh, you know, in her mind, it's a place of solitude. So again, it's gonna take a couple days, maybe a week or two for her to fully get comfortable in the enclosure. I love how cautious she is. Very, very intelligent animals and really want to understand the world they're living in so as to not get freaked out. Oh, there you go, baby. Uh, I can kind of sit in here and just hang out. This makes me happy, giving her a really cool environment. And I guess you guys are like me, I mean, Probably the most fun thing to do with these animals is just to sit and watch them interact with their habitats and environments. That's when reptiles are the most interesting. So many times people, you know, keep them in less than adequate enclosures and what you get is a lethargic animal that only moves when you feed it. So that's kind of what happens is people get bored, they feed them because that's when they move and then the animal gets overweight. So it's important to give the animal a big enough enclosure uh, a way for it to enrich itself, not only with food, but just from exploring and checking out the habitat. This is how they'll get the exercise. Plus, it's also fun. You can hide food around this habitat and she'll really uh, come into herself and use that reptilian brain. Look at it. I love how she pokes around in here. Just figuring it all out. Come over here. Ugh. Oh, look at that. Hiding out in here, huh? Very cool, so she's figured that out, let's see. Let's show her this. Oh, look at that, Pinky. There's your new house. Hope you like that, nice and warm in the winter. Oh, I'm gonna shut this, I want you to come out the other way. All right, so let's see if she'll come on out, figure out she can get back out. I'm sure she will.
Hi, hon. I'm just playing with Pinky. She loves her new house. I'm on camera right now. Look at her. Oh, that's my hiney. Hiney, hiney, ho. All right, well, there you go, people. I guess I'll just let this time lapse run so you guys can kind of have a look at her and what she does throughout the day here investigating her home. I'm really excited for her. I appreciate you guys watching these videos. Hope you're enjoying them. I'm getting a lot done here at the camp. Uh, there's so much more to do. It never ends. So I hope you guys will join me on this journey. Thanks so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Be safe out there wherever you may be. And I hope you guys are getting a little bit of an education from all these fun videos. All right, I leave you now with my girl. Hey, look at her, she's so cute. Don't you just love her? Oh, I thought you meant me. No, yeah, you're cute too, but you know, <laughs> she's kind of cute right now doing her thing. All right, guys, see you soon. Thanks so much.